Hey everybody, it's welcome back. It's InfoBlitz101 again, and today we're going to be setting up another HDMI video capture card for you guys out there. So guys, if you already bought the HDMI video capture card with 4K and you're thinking on how to set it up in the proper way, how to set it up in your game consoles and also on the secondary screens like the TV or laptop. So these are the things that you have to consider before setting it up so that uh, the functions of this uh, device would be smooth and you can use it on the way you want it to be. So okay guys, so before we start, these are the things that you will be needing in order for you to set up the device. Uh, what the? So alright, these are the things that you'll be needing in order for you to set up the HDMI video capture card 4K. So first of all, we'll be needing two sets of HDMI cable that we're going to be hooking it up on the device itself for the input and output. But I already hooked up the other HDMI cable to my uh, TV screen here so that it would be easy to hook it up on the HDMI uh, layer so okay we'll be needing two of these and guys make sure that your cables are in good condition because they might affect the output of the or the flow of the projection of the uh, recording of the device so make sure that your uh, both cables all cables are in good condition so that there's no problem in any connection to the all the secondary device that you'll be hooking it up okay so you'll be needing a single cable to the usb to usb cables uh, one will be connected to the hdmi device and one will be connected to the computer itself and of course let's not forget the this little guy here course this is the most important thing that we're going to be setting up the HDMI 4k capture card so we're going to be checking out the performance of this uh, little guy and uh, I hope it will be really turns out great okay guys for the main setup I'm going to be using the Nintendo switch as our main console for the setup for the day using the HDMI video capture card so Let's not make it any more longer. Let's do this and let's set it up. So, okay guys, before we start, I would like to tell you that I already hooked up the two cables of HDMI to the device that needs to be connected on. So this one is already connected to the back of my TV screen and this one is already plugged in to the back of the charging dock of the Nintendo Switch. So we're just going to be plugging this in on the HDMI 4K capture card. So let's do this. So let's start by connecting the HDMI output that is connected to the TV. So there you go. Next one, let's plug in the HDMI input that is connected to the Nintendo Switch. So this one goes to the Nintendo Switch on the input slot, and this one goes to the television. Or the screen of your TV on the output slot so there you go guys so always remember output for the TV input for the console okay guys so now that we already plugged in the two HDMI to the proper slots that they need to be plugged in the next step is that we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging this USB cable to USB cable on the slot for the USB. This will be connected to the USB port of the computer because this will be the one who's going to transmit and record the videos that will be seen or be played on the Nintendo Switch itself. So let's plug this in.
let's put it there okay so that you could see the device itself so now that we already hooked it up let's start opening all the devices so that let's start recording but before that there's another thing that you have to know okay guys now that we opened up all the devices here let's start recording but before we start recording we can use the obs studio for recording our video game video capturing and also live streaming so it's an easy app you can just download it and use it okay so let's set up and let's start setting up the 4k hdmi video capture card so let's go to the plus symbol look for video capture device just click ok now that we're already in the webcam we're not going to be using the webcam we're going to be using the video capture card so before you click ok there is a certain trick for those who has problems i uh, can't hear the sounds of their games this is a very very useful trick so at the lower end of this uh, screen there is a ca capture audio only so click the box there and then choose from what audio you would like to record so you can just choose output desktop audio this one is much more better and then click ok so as you can see the screen hasn't projected yet on the Nintendo Switch so let's hook in or slap in the Nintendo Switch if it doesn't work you can do it again second time around okay so there you go you can see the projection of the Nintendo Switch here and also the projection from the TV. I'll just move my camera there so that you would be able to see on both screens. So this is the screen for the laptop and this is the screen for the TV. Okay, so let's uh, just fix the size of the screen from this laptop. So fit the screen. Now we have the same screens that we have on the TV here and also on the laptop. Now, let's do a recording. So let's check on the video capture card on how it records. So at the side lower right corner here, you can choose from whichever you want to do. You start streaming, you want to stream and uh start recording start recording you can start recording your game on what you're playing whatsoever okay so oh so let's slap it in again so there you go let's start recording so it's already starting to record at this time so i'll be just be getting these uh, two controllers here it's hard to get controllers okay so so watch carefully this is a tv this is the pc and it's already recording so let's just choose a certain type of game so both of them are already uh showing at the same time so it's good it's good after this let's check the video if quality of the video that we recorded although the quality of the video will depend on what type of computer you're using if your computer is uh, using a high-end computer I will really see the results there that it is really really good quality video that will be recorded and if you are just using like mine it's just an ordinary laptop but although really useful 
but I will doubt that the quality of this video will be the same as a high quality but we're here to see if the HDMI capture card can record the quality of the video itself so I'll be stopping this video here so that we will have some references okay so I'll be stopping this so I'll just press stop record so it's already a stop record there so let's check the video if it is uh, recorded properly so let's go to this uh, where the video is recorded see there it is and let's see if it has recorded the video properly let's see let's see so as you can see there it is uh, I'll just put it a little bit forward so that you will see the recording of the actual recording of the HDMI video capture card. So there you go guys. It actually recorded the game that we played a while ago that was hollow knight so there it is actually the video quality is good yeah quality of the video the sounds of the video really really good if you're asking me if this is like the Elgato, I would say it can. It can be like the Elgato because God, the graphics, the sounds are crisp and good. No problem about it. Thumbs up for me, guys. It's a thumbs up for me. So that's about it for our video for today on how to set up the HDMI video capture card 4K. So let's go back. Okay guys, that's about it for another HDMI video capture card setup. I do hope the video helped you a lot. And if you're just new to the channel, please do hit the subscription button and also put a like on the video guys. And until next time guys, this is InfoBlitz 101. Make your own perspective. I'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.